गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ ज्योति भट्ट आई एम स्टूडेंट ऑफ सेकेंड सेमेस्टर ऑफ बी एड एंड आई स्टडी इन इंस्परेशन कॉलेज ऑफ टीचर्स एजुकेशन एंड माई प्रेजेंटेशन इज ऑन क्लास रूम विदाउट बाउंड्रीज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक मिस्टर नीरज कानपर सर फॉर गाइडिंग मी इन मेकिंग दिस प्रेजेंटेशन क्लास रूम विदाउट बाउंड्रीज वे आर मेकिंग एजुकेशन गोइंग टू द डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस एजुकेशन डिस्टेंस लर्निंग और डी लर्निंग लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इट इज इट इज़ अ मोड ऑफ डिलीवरिंग एजुकेशन एंड इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफन ऑन एन इंडिविजुअल बेसिस टू स्टूडेंट्स हु आर नॉट फिजिकली प्रेजेंट इन अ ट्रेडिशनल सेटिंग सच एज क्लास रूम स्टूडेंट्स दोज हू कैन नॉट गो टू द क्लास रूम इट इज़ अ मोड ऑफ डिलीवरिंग एजुकेशन एंड इंस्ट्रक्शन टू दैम डिस्टेंस लर्निंग प्रोवाइड्स एसेस टू लर्निंग वेन द सोर्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड द लर्नर्स आर सेपरेटेड बाई टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस और बोथ वे द सोर्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन द स्कूल द टीचर्स द कॉलेज द इंस्टीट्यूशन इज फार अवे फ्राम द लर्नर डिस्टेंस एजुकेशन मेक्स इट ईजियर फॉर दोज लर्नर्स टू स्टडी फ्राम डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस एजुकेशन इन इंडिया In Indian Education Commission in nineteen sixty four to sixty six, it was rightly said that there must be a method of taking education to the millions who depend upon their own effort to study whenever they can find time to do so. We considered that correspondence or home study courses provide the right answer for these situations. So our Indian Education Commission also was in favor of these correspondence courses, where we are giving a chance to million of people, million of learners who are dependent upon themselves. themselves their own earning for you know for uh, studying so this is a very good the home study courses and the correspondence courses are a very good source of learning for them not only for these students those who are very much willing to study but yes for the rural population and the backward people of the society this education system of course distance education in india is for their upliftment With a view of widening the horizon of education in India, opening new frontiers of knowledge, and democratizing the teaching-learning process in journal, distance learning is utilized for supplementing and enriching the traditional as well as formal educational system in India. Now it have it you know it opens doors and it opens the horizons of education in india where not only those students who are going to colleges are getting educated but yes those who are there at their homes due to some reasons or due to the distance or due to they as they are own earning for their own education so for them also that mass of our country is also getting educated through these correspondence courses and it is giving it is making our education system of india the education system of india a strong one distance learning is necessary not only for eradication of mass illiteracy but also for meeting the ever increasing demand for higher education higher education is demanded by everyone but but there are some students those who cannot get that just because they live very far off or just because they have to earn money for their living so this these correspondence courses this e learning this sorry this d learning is the only way which we by which we are uplifting not uh, uplifting that mass of the society and the only motive of uh, starting the correspondence courses is not to eradicate not to finish the mass illiteracy but also for meeting the ever increasing demand for higher education in india next is when did it started for the first in india an expert committee under the chairmanship of dr d s kothari ji was appointed by the union ministry of education to explore the possibility of starting correspondence courses in few selected universities a pilot project in correspondence education was started by the delhi university in 1962 to 63 for ba and bcom pass level students Open School at Delhi started its activities in July 1979 under the CBSC for appearing at the central board examinations through its specially prepared instructional materials assignments face to face contacts and other multimedia programs so this is how it was started in India now what is the object what are the objectives of distance education Here are stated few. The first one is to provide alternative path to wider opportunities in education and especially in higher education. As I talked earlier, it is all about providing alternative path, and yes, it is all about providing maximum opportunities to maximum learners all over in India, so that they can, you know, learn and they can get themselves full of knowledge. 
to provide an efficient and less expensive education yes it is equally efficient it is equally efficient just like as a regular learning and yes it uh, is quite cheaper quite less expensive than the regular uh, because it cut down the normal day to apart from the tuition fees it cut down the normal day to day expenses of a of a student life so it becomes slip uh, uh, less expensive for student to learn from correspondence or distance education to provide education to all qualifies and willing learners there are certain willing learners due to some problems uh, they are you know said they set back in their life and leave studies and just uh, you know just move ahead to earn money in their lives so for them this distance education is quite uh, helpful and we can see the results of it to provide education facilities to those individual to who look upon education as a lifelong activity for those who always want to study and they always believe that education is not only up till when we are in a class up till when we are doing certain course but yes it is a lifelong activity for them also these distance this distance education is quite a wonder that is happening what are the advantages of distance learning now i'll discuss the advantages of distance learning some of the advantages as listed here are distance education provides us the flexibility to complete our coursework from anywhere at any time at our own pace there are certain students who take time to complete their work there are certain students who complete their work very early so distance education provides this facility to the student no matter at what corner of the uh, country that particular person is sitting or what corner of the uh, you know state that particular person is sitting but yes he or she can learn in spite of the distance between the institution and the learner and yes they can you know submit their time submit their work from any place according to their understanding distance learning offer us a flexible schedule that allows us to learn and earn at the same time for students for learners those who are not financially well those who don't have a good financial background for them it is very good where they can earn and learn at the same time so we can attend school also plus we can hold down along with our job and also we can we can pay for our own college we can choose any school that offers the program we want no matter where it is located anywhere in the country or even in nationally distance education is not about learning inside our country but if we want to learn from any other international university also it is amazing distance learning programs make us make use of sophisticated technology to impart education students become more tech savvy than other classroom counterparts so yes distance learning is not only making you know uh, knowledge accessible to uh, the learners those who are not able to get it due to some reasons but yes they are it, this distance education is making the students quite uh, you know tech savvy where they are uh, you know facing these technologies day in their day to day lives and they are uh, in touch with the technology how to do their work in minutes how to send their work from one place to the another using technology so these in this way distance education is making the learners those who are learning through distance education a tech savvy person where they are and they are comparatively good in all the technological aspects than their classroom counterpart so i will again thank my teacher for guiding me for this project and thank you i hope you understand that thank you so much